everybody. I'm really early. I'm really early. This was inspired. I was starting to clean in this room after doing my monthly 12. So I did 12 readings, uh, one for every one of the zodiac signs. So if you want to find that, that's actually in your playlist. If you go to Enchanted Mirror Tarot, I have your playlist right on my front page so you can find your zodiac sign i have everything i've done for your zodiac sign in there this is not zodiac sign specific this is just if you're drawn to this then that's your reading um but yeah i just was inspired while i was cleaning in here i started putting these little lace doilies and then i was like well you know what i need to put some oil on them so i used the art of the root. So Venus is the presiding spirit that I infused in these. And then I, I actually put in the uh, 12 spirits of light. And then I took these little purple flowers and I sprinkled them all over the place. They're just teeny tiny little purple flowers. Aren't they cute? Aren't they cute? Just little purple flowers. And little baby's breath. See, that one's too tiny. Little tiny. Little tiny baby's breath. You see, it's just a little baby. Little baby's breath all over the place. And then something talked to me. It was a goddess. We have Lakshmi here. And then we, we also have Venus. So then I infused every single one of these with a spirit. So all of these have a little spirit attached to them. And I have them all around. We're going to be using the Heart and Soul Tarot. They're heart-shaped tarot cards. Talking to Heaven by Doreen Virtue and James Von Prof. That was gifted to me by um, Rosemary. Thank you, Rosemary. Thank you from all of us. And then we have the Bride's Tarot. It's an independent deck by Etsy. It is actually numbered. And then I have Rebecca Campbell's Work Your Light. And then we're featuring the Muse Tarot by Chris Ann. These two, they go so well together. I just love the Bride's Tarot. It just speaks to me. It's very fun, very fun and fresh. So just take this however it resonates with you. I don't really understand what I'm saying because these messages aren't for me. They're for you. They're for you. So let's make a little energy grid. Let's make a little energy grid here. I'm going to use some hearts. We're going to start with the crown chakra. I want that in the center. That's at the center. That's at the center of the Sri Antra. Uh, I need some motivation. Look, I still have a red feather on this. <laughs> I have a pink feather thing, but I kind of want to adore this. Where do I want to put motivation? Motivation. Heart. Heart. We definitely need some intuition here. And communication. Yeah, communication's just right. All right, so our energy grid is done. Let me charge my magical rose.
We're listening to Nima's Dreamscape. Breathe in deep into your lungs. I am one with the universe, one with the eternal goddess. She is part of me. I tune into my heart as she is there, surrounded by an infinite library of wisdom, knowledge, and love. The countless manifestations of the goddess, along with her great compassion, are expressed through me. I'm in alignment. There's a dark past here, but this dark past, it's helped me to become in alignment today so I can make some beauty in the future. Do you trust a doctor that's never been sick? Or would you trust a doctor that's been through it? It's putting you in alignment here. This dark past is becoming a bright new future. You're learning from it. These hard lessons were the hardest and the best. We will be together again soon. Look on shore. We will be together again soon. We're on different journeys. We're at sea. I see shore. Do you see the shore? I definitely, there's a challenge right here. There's a challenge right here, but there's definitely the shore. There's, there's land. There's stability here. We're out lost at sea, but I see that we're going to get to where we need to be. It's not going to be easy. The storm clouds are coming in. Day is running out. The day is running out, but we will be together again. I see that you need to have some faith here. There's a lack of long-term vision. It's like you're just living for today. There's limited success. There's, you're not reaping the rewards here. You need to live for today. Make some long-term goals. Where do you see this going? Is this a long-term investment that you're making? Your intuition is right through the door. There's challenges here, but you can get past them. There's those crossroads. Look at look at how challenging this looks. Doesn't this look so challenging? We have the, the, de the desert here. How are we going to make something beautiful in the desert? Nothing grows in the desert. It's dry, barren land. There's not enough emotion there. How are we going to create pyramids? Structures that last the span of time. How? Dance with life. Do something to change your energy. Instead of saying how, just say, okay, I'm up for it. Bring it. Bring it. You're exactly where you need to be in life. 
You're being guided here. It feels like there's multiple personalities. I feel like multiple. You're bursting forth. You're bursting forth. There's, there's, a, there's a landing pad. There's a launch pad here. There's a launch pad here. We're just bursting off. The crown chakra. You're surrounded with life force energy. There's creativity here. The Merkaba cube. You're spinning. Your, your guide is here. Ready to launch you into outer space. They're sending it in. Nanu, Nanu. Incoming message. Incoming message. Here we go. Do you see it right there? There's two. Is everything okay? Right. There's two open doorways here. Two paths that we can take. I don't see anyone over here. The dark path. I see everybody wants to go this way. We want to go towards the light. We want to enter the light.